This week marks the final instalment of our Van Life Ireland series. In this video, we are joined by our friends as we explore Dublin, with an obligatory visit to the Guinness Storehouse, as well as the Temple Bar area. We then continue south through the Wicklow Mountains, making the most of the time we have left in this beautiful country. a little bit of an update this morning um today is kind of a wait day <laughs> yeah we are if you didn't see in our first video which is the first few minutes of the first video we were with our friends phoebe and joel and they're coming back over today yep. to explore dublin with us so i don't know about two hours three hours time they're landing yeah so this morning we've sort of just stayed at our park up we're waiting i mean it's a lovely day it's a bit of a shame yeah. but we didn't have anything to do so we just thought right we'll sit and wait because we're quite near the airport and then we'll drive over and pick them up this afternoon and then i think we're doing a cliff walk this afternoon following dublin we have quite a bit to do so that's what we'll be coming after but this gives a bit of context to why there's no footage today really yeah. And then why there's just suddenly people and a bit of footage tonight before <laughs> Dublin tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go. We have finally left the harbour. Yeah, it's nearing, what is it, like half past three? <laughs> oh yeah, easy. And picking up our friends from the airport. Yes. They are about half an hour late leaving. Um, Those delays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, on the way, pick him up in Mackie's car park and, I don't know, start our day then. Oh, is it, what are we doing? Just smile. Oh, just okay. <laughs> Before the day escaped us, we wanted to enjoy this gorgeous sunset over the Irish coast before we headed to the Airbnb. That's going in the video. This morning we hopped into a taxi to head into the city. We had booked ahead online for the Guinness Storehouse. We would definitely advise booking a little bit in advance as tickets do sell out and despite going midweek it was very busy when we visited. The storehouse is a seven storey building set in the original Guinness factory. The experience takes you through the whole process of making Guinness, from grain to glass. There are lots of interactive elements that showcase the process and our favourite area was the advertising. Guinness advertising is iconic. We have travelled the whole of Ireland and the one constant is Guinness. No matter where you go, how remote you are or how far you've travelled, there is always a pub selling Guinness 
with the iconic advertising on the building, often in the form of a huge mural on the side. the tour we went to the roof where the gravity bar is. Included in your entrance ticket you get a stub for a free pint to enjoy with views across the city. Even if you don't like Guinness it's still a fascinating experience and a great part of Irish culture. Guinness storehouse we were ready for some grub and a cheeky cocktail to fuel us up for trekking around the city. We ate just outside of the Temple Bar area at Trinity Bar. day of exploring, we hopped on the tram back to the Airbnb. Couldn't come to Dublin and not try a spice bag. Oh, that does look banging. That looks really good. Damn, that does look good. That is really good. Yeah? Oh man, that's amazing. friends left us this morning they only stayed for about two days yeah. oh. um, and I know it's a bit windy <laughs> by here it is a little bit so they left this morning we dropped them off at the airport at the crack of dawn yeah their flight was for six o'clock yeah six o'clock so we dropped them off at about 20 to 5 yeah which means early morning woke up about four ish yeah so we decided to find a park up then just outside of Dublin for us to get some extra sleep before we uh, hit the road today. It was also well before sunrise, we weren't going to see anything if we set off at that time. Exactly. So today is actually our last day in Ireland, which is a bit gutting. We've been here for six weeks now, over six weeks, which is mad to think. It seems like the trip, like the Ring of Kerry, for instance, feels like, oh, that, months yeah, ago. yeah, yeah that, was, that, that was months ago we did that. But then at the same time, it feels like we haven't been here that long. It's really weird. Yeah, it's gone like a flash, but it seems like we've done so much yeah we made the most of our time here Definitely. I, I, I would say yes i completely agree so because it's our last day we wanted to make the most of it we didn't just want to drive straight to the harbor so after we left our park up this morning we drove to bray which is where some of your family's from even though i've never been to ireland um family before me were from from bray so it was nice to kind of go there and see what my the great Great grandparents and great great grandparents yeah. came from. So we took a little drive down the seafront. It was really lovely. Bray looks really nice. Yeah, it does. The seafront, especially, was very nice. Yeah, so we took a little drive down there. We've continued heading sort of south, and then today's objective is to explore the Wicklow Mountains in County Wicklow. So, yeah, we have a hike planned. A couple, of, a couple of hours it's supposed to be. Um, just through the mountains, look at some locks, and really Already. just enjoy the uh what island has for, the, for our last day yeah i'm a bit sad but we've had a brilliant time we've thoroughly explored island we hit 3,000 miles yes <laughs> which is incredible so we've had a brilliant time benny has been brilliant she's not missed a beat she's been amazing for us and already we're up in the mountains and we've got these incredible scenes of this lock it's gorgeous so I'm super excited to spend our last day. You having fun though when you're here? I know. It's not it's not doing for you, is it? No, Just sort of cut not. to me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna hit the road. <laughs>
a hike this. Lovely weather, lovely view. Oh, Ireland treating us on our last day, that's for sure. <laughs> becoming a theme with us now rain and hiking it is annoying me and we're just waiting it out but we don't have that much time to wait so we'll give it another 10 minutes and see where we're at so we've made a decision i think we are going to try and do something of the walk it's a very long hike to be fair and we weren't going to do it all in the beginning anyway yeah but i think we're gonna just go down see how it goes get a feel for it and then come back because the thing is the fog is like rolling in and out all the time and the rain is rolling in and out all the time yeah we've had a slight break not quite a break in the rain but it's, it's coming not back as, now <laughs> it's not as bad as it was so we're thinking make the most out of it worst yeah. case now we turn around and come back exactly you don't have to go the whole way it's also we just like to have a walk like just to stretch our legs a little bit it's lovely yeah. and you're here why not Lovely this. Let's do this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Won't be going that way. No, let's do a different way. Let's try this. Right. <laughs> I'm on team except defeat here. It's bloody pissing it down. This is a huge bog. You just nearly lost the boot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, think speed. I do not think speed. Don't do a Jeremy Clarkson. Right. Just one big step. Well, I'm stranded. And that's how far we got. We calling it? Yeah. It's wet. I admit defeat. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. Ah, oh, Ireland. You've been amazing, but my God, the weather is so unpredictable. Attempt two. <laughs> We've got another walk lined up. The first one obviously didn't go very well. No, a bust, unfortunately. Yeah, but this one is a forest first. A what? <laughs> this one is a forest walk. So, idea is sheltered by the trees. Yep. There's like a boardwalk that goes through, so hopefully it's not too boggy. This is like quite a, not a famous, like a well-known walk mm. in Ireland and it's something that was actually on the cover of our guidebook and as soon as i saw the guidebook i was like oh my god what a beautiful like picture that's gorgeous and then you saw it online didn't you i did yeah and i can't you, remember where i saw it but it definitely piqued TikTok, my interest yeah and you said like oh i really want to go here and i was like oh my god that's the place on my book let's definitely go there so we have arrived here now the weather's not great, so we're really hoping that these trees are going to save us. <laughs> we'll get our raincoats on, get our boots on, give it a go, and uh, it's all you can do. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like so far. The camera is brightening this up quite a bit, but it's bloody creepy. This is <laughs> creepy, a bit eerie maybe. A little bit. It's, um, oh God, I bought a head torch just in case it's too dark, which I'm glad I did now because we've only just started. And it's already very creepy. Yeah. we found the boardwalk
Well, luckily we have this walk, even though, even though you have to get into a tree. Because that's the other option. Oh. Look what I found. <laughs> Not bad, that. Look at that view. Look at all those trees in between. Like, if you imagine a bird, like, this sounds really stupid. <laughs> but if you it. imagine you're a bird and you're like flying along the very tippy tops of trees, that's what I imagine this view looks like. I, d I tell you what, as stupid as it sounds, do you get what I mean? I do see what you're saying. Oh, bro, well, that's a good one for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way back now. Yes. What a lovely walk. It's such a like a, a full forest. Uh, oh yeah. You know. Very. Like it's thick. Yeah. Thick forest. It's gorgeous. And the smell from oh, all yeah. these, like all this. It's like oh, pure. The, the pine. The wicks. Ah, fuck this sharp. Ow. Okay, don't do that. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, smell it. Can you smell it? A little bit. I mean, I smell it more just from the trees. Okay. I got stabbed for that. Ow. <laughs> so, finished. Finished park up now. Um, so we're going to head back to B. Good for Yeah, head back to B. Drive straight to a park up. Have food because I'm starving. I'm starving as well now. An early ish night because we've got the ferry at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and then, and then we're done. Back on Welsh soil. It's cleared right up since we started. Wow! Not bad. After our walk, we made our way straight to the ferry port with a park up right outside. Made ourselves some grab and hunkered down. for watching we have just returned from Ireland now we've come back to visit our family which we always like to do after a long trip we have had an incredible time oh, what a great six weeks flew by what yes. a fantastic time we've had it's absolutely incredible we don't have more than enough amazing things to say about <laughs> Ireland and we highly recommend that you visit even if you just go to Dublin or something it's an amazing country the people are lovely the landscape is beautiful it doesn't disappoint well, we've hoped you've enjoyed the series. It's, for us at least, our best performing series. It seems like everyone really enjoyed it. We've had some yes. such nice comments. It's been amazing. So, yeah, really, really nice. And fortunately, we did do a three week trip in France a little while back, but we had a lot of issues with the footage. We've managed to get pretty much all of it back. So, luckily. Yeah, very <laughs> luckily. So we'll be able to get those videos out shortly. Yeah, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments, recommendations down below and we will see you in the next video.